Uh, Ramla, this, what an amazing movie and what an amazing character you played in that. I just watched it again last night before I went to bed and just, it's even more moving to me on the second viewing, I guess, because I know, you know, what was happening. When you first heard of this story, you know, what did you think when you're like, you know, was it like, I have to do this? This is, you know, there's something special about this. Yeah, it really is like that. You know, obviously I, I'm lucky and I, I get sent quite a lot of material and I write as well. So I read a lot of screenplays and I was sent, I was actually at work when I was sent this script and I happened to have, a, a, you know, a long lunch break. So I read the script at work and I cried and cried when I was reading the script and that just, my cold heart does not, that does not happen very much anymore. And I had to go back into the makeup chair after lunch and I was just absolutely like, I looked like I'd been in a fight. I was just destroyed. Um, it was a very unusual and exceptional screenplay and I think you know that the emo the purity of the emotion of that screenplay has really transferred onto the finished film. Let's I want to talk just a little bit about your character Doreen because uh, to me she's an amazing person in there. Uh, when you see her in the beginning of the movie she's very uh, skeptical of anything happening and then as you know the the things the plan starts getting in place you can see that she comes on board and with hope and she is selfless too. Are those the things that you stick out to her? And I'll ask a follow-up question after that. Yeah. Yeah, I think we all recognize that thing of just a very overwhelmed woman. Like we've already yes. we've all met that woman, walked into an office or walked into anywhere. And there's just one woman who's holding the whole place together with like, you know, sellotape and <laughs> brown paper. Right. And she's, she's that woman and, you know, she's horrified by the prospect of him, of Nicholas Winton, who's this stockbroker. She's like, you don't know anything. You've no idea about this situation and you're already bossing people around. Uh, you know, yeah. but he, he obviously comes in with outsider's eyes and he's able to understand the kind of existential threat, the real um, possibility of, of, you know, of people dying, losing their lives. He can really see that in the way that an outsider coming in often can. And, you know, what is a great quality of hers, she adapted to that and she, you know, allowed herself to be talked into a mission that she, you know, and I've read her diaries and letters, you know, it's not a fictionalized thing. She really genuinely thought, they would not be able to get get visas for the children. She didn't think that they would find homes for them in the UK, and she had very good reasons to think that. Um, uh, and 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 yet, you know, through sheer force of personality, and you know, their own, as you say, obviously, they were their own self sacrificing natures. You know, they were able to achieve so much. My other thing, and I I I think you answered that. I was just going to say, you know. Uh, your performance paying tribute to someone who is a true hero, you know, that uh, was there any kind of hesitation or like, I got to get this, I got to, you know, get this right, so to speak. Yeah, I, I um, always feel that when I'm playing a real person, I think you have a tremendous duty of care as an actor to that real person. I'm never com that comfortable with people changing things. You know, I always try and imagine that that person was, alive and and there and there to say you know what they did or, or what I, I try to depict people as they would want to be depicted without you know making things up and I always try and do a lot of reading and read everything I can about the character I mean the thing about Doreen was I was struggling to find any sort of negative qualities you know she was just right yeah extraordinarily brilliant person you know she achieved so much in her life you know going to Cambridge and becoming an economist as a woman in the 1920s was like really right. unusual and then going and like dedicating years and years of her life to helping people in 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 Europe working for these NGOs was was an extraordinary achievement so you know yeah I suppose sometimes she's a bit short-tempered that's <laughs> I guess that's the only yeah. balance I could find and who can fault that uh yeah. Thank you so much, uh, and I hope you have a, a great day of interviews. It's a beautiful film, and Thanks. I love your character in it. Uh, you do a great job. Thanks. That's Thank so you. kind of you. Have a lovely day. You too.